In this video, we will continue our study of Revelation 13, America in Prophecy. Let's quickly review what we've learned so far. America is the second beast of Revelation 13. Here's the reasons why. Point number one, Revelation 13, 9, 10, and 11 read, If anyone has an ear, let him hear. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Then I saw another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. When did the second beast arise? After the first beast was taken captive. We clearly see that the second beast arises to power in the late 18th century, just as the first beast goes into captivity. On February 10, 1798, General Berthier, under Napoleon Bonaparte, marched to Rome, entered it unopposed, and demanded the Pope renounce his temporal authority. When he refused, he was taken prisoner to France, where he died one year later. This is a deadly wound spoken of in Revelation 13.3. It was during this very time that America was rising to power. The Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776. The Revolutionary War was waged for eight years, from 1775 to 1783. The Constitution of the United States was ratified in 1788 and went into effect in 1789. Our first president was elected in 1792. The prophetic time clock is right on schedule. Point number two. The beast is like a lamb. The lamb is a symbol of Jesus Christ. At first, this beast has Christ-like characteristics. See John 1.29 and 1 Corinthians 5.7. This beast power doesn't start out as a global power, but it gradually comes up and takes the land. This beast starts out as a young nation, like a lamb, not like a mature ram. Point number three. The beast spoke like a dragon. The dragon is symbolic of Satan and his earthly agents. America will reject her lamb-like characteristics and will speak like a dragon through her laws. Her laws currently support religious liberty and human freedoms, but this will change. Nations speak through their legislative and judicial authorities. The nation speaks like a dragon when it assumes the prerogatives of God and passes laws that interfere with its citizens' rights to worship according to their conscience. Point number four. This beast comes out of the earth. In Revelation 17.15, the angel explains to John that the sea symbolizes peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. If the sea represents a densely populated area, then the earth would represent a sparsely populated area. America arose out of the sparsely populated New World. The second beast doesn't destroy another beast nation that previously occupied the land. It rises gently out of a sparsely populated land. Point number five. The beast has two horns. The angel explained to John in Revelation 17.12 that the ten horns which you saw are ten kings. The Bible teaches us that horns represent kings or kingdoms. Be sure to note that these horns do not have crowns. The first beast of Revelation 13 had ten horns and ten crowns on its horns. Crowns symbolize royalty, a king sitting on his throne. The second beast of Revelation does not have a crown. This is a nation without a king. The nation's horns are lamb-like. Since the lamb symbolizes Christ, this nation is founded on Christian principles. It follows Christ's teachings on how government and religion are to coexist. Jesus said, Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Matthew 22, 21. It upholds the principle of separation of church and state. Point number six, Revelation thirteen twelve. 
and he exercises all the authority of the first beast. Friends, we must take a minute to learn about the first beast of Revelation 13 in order to understand what America will be like. I will go into greater detail on the first beast, but for now, here is a short list about what the Bible says. The dragon gave it authority. This means that the devil was in command, not God. It spoke blasphemy against God. It does not love Bible truth. He made war with the saints. He persecutes those who believe in the Bible truth. Authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. It's a global power over nations. All who dwell on the earth will worship him. This beast commands worship. It has both political and religious power. America will become a persecuting power, and she will act just like the first beast acted before her. This paints a dark picture of the future of America. Point number seven, Revelation thirteen twelve, and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast. This is a clear reference that this second lamb-like beast, America, will enforce worship of the first beast. She will have widespread authority to enforce worship over all the earth. The authority of the USA is to be exercised in enforcing worship that will be an act of homage to the papal power, the first beast of Revelation 13. This nation of religious freedom will eventually institute laws that enforce worship that honors the papal kingdom. Point number eight, he performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth. Verse 13 teaches that miracles are going to occur. These miracles will deceive men into believing that these new religious laws have the blessing of God. Satan the dragon, who is the power behind both beasts, will work great miracles in the United States to convince the world that God is behind these laws that enforce religion. Since they are religious laws, the Protestant churches in America will have endorsed them and even pushed their political representatives to pass them. The power of the churches in America will grow stronger and stronger through the union of church and state. The church will no longer represent freedom of conscience and freedom of religion. The state will enforce the laws of the church. This is already beginning. Look how strong the evangelical movement is today and how they have the ear of the President of the United States. He has worked on the Johnson Amendment and plans to move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. He is capitalizing on the votes of the evangelicals, and they are reaping the benefits of their political power. Fire represents the Holy Spirit. Satan will counterfeit the Holy Spirit by doing all kinds of miracles and wonders. Jesus himself predicted that this would occur. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Matthew twenty four twenty four. Paul the Apostle also predicted this would happen. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie. 2 Thessalonians 2, 8 and 9 These miracles will be real, and they will be so great that even the elect are in the danger of being deceived, if it were possible. Point number nine. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth, telling them to make an image to the beast. A power that would qualify as an image to the beast must act just like the first beast acted. The first beast used political power to enforce her religious practices and beliefs. The time will come when Protestant churches will unite forces with the Catholic Church to gain more political power in the United States. Even though the United States was originally founded as a Protestant nation, she will form an alliance with the Vatican after its deadly wound was healed. We saw this prophecy reaching partial fulfillment when Pope Francis and Bishop Munib Yunan both attended an ecumenical event at the Maimo Arena on October 31, 2016 in Maimo, Sweden, 
to mark the 500th anniversary of the Protestant Reformation. As conditions worsen, the people of America will elect leaders that will legislate religious laws. When America tramples on the rights of one's conscience and passes laws restricting religious liberty, she will have begun to speak like a dragon. What could cause such a tremendous shift in American values? All it will take is natural disasters like earthquakes, floods, and wildfires, coupled with financial catastrophes such as the failure of the banking system, a Great Depression, or the crash of Wall Street, to cause people to start asking, Why is this happening to us? Is God punishing us? We need to come back to God as a nation. We need to repent. We need to go to church, or God will pour out more judgments upon us. The church will seek to draw all religions together. Everyone will be urged to lay aside fanatical teachings and join together for brotherhood and peace and unity. Bible truth will not be valued. It will be sacrificed in the name of unity. The Protestant churches will value unity and peace over the commandments of God. The result is, all the world marveled and followed the beast. See Revelation 13.3. Point 10. The image of the beast would cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. A death decree will be proclaimed when America has fully transformed into the image of the beast she will begin to enforce the mark of the beast through legislation and law enforcement. At first, those who resist these religious laws will suffer economic penalties. See Revelation 13, 17. But this prophecy tells us that finally a death decree will be passed. This will be a worldwide movement. Point 11. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive the mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. All will be affected. No one will be exempt. The mark of the beast has to do with worship. There will be two groups of people on the earth at this time, those who worship God and those who worship the beast. Those who are true to God will keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. See Revelation 14.12. The mark of the beast is opposed to the commandments of God and is a symbol of the beast's authority. Point 12. No one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. We all understand how economic sanctions work. It is not hard to imagine that this will be the first measure used to bring people into conformity. Look around you. There are many nations today that are almost cashless. It will be easy for the government to freeze your assets and make it so that you cannot buy or sell if you fail to follow these new religious laws. But these sanctions will ultimately fail because we see that a death decree will be issued. Each person on the earth will be faced with the decision to receive the seal of loyalty to God and His commandments or the mark of disloyalty to God in rebellion against God's laws. When a national Sunday law has been passed, the fourth commandment of God will be the final test of true worship. The observance of Sunday, the mark of authority of the beast, or the observance of Saturday, the seal of God. This is the final test. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. The first beast has already been identified through the characteristics listed in Revelation 13, verses 1 through 11. But this number provides confirmation of the identity of the first beast. One of the titles of the Pope is Vicarious Philae Dei, or Vicar of the Son of God. See the Catholic Jesuit publication, Our Sunday Visitor, April 18, 1915. 
If you apply the Roman numeric values to the letters of this title, you will find they total to 666.